Hello, my name is Micah, and in this video, I am going to show you my super small and tiny and cute handmade journal that I made out of, you know, pattern paper, scrapbooking paper, just graph paper that I had food colored. So lots of different things in here. And I had a lot of fun playing around with this. So the cover is made out of this brown packing paper, which already had this torn edge. So I thought I'll just gonna leave that because I thought it looked kind of funky and cool. And then on the cover, I have this cat illustration that I made, which is actually part of a free printable. I have that linked down below if you're interested. And then I paired her with these sunflowers, which are from uh, Courtney Diaz, her Patreon, Little Raven Ink. I have that linked down below as well. And let's take a look on the inside. Um, I had a lot of fun with different ways of creating um, flips and tip-ins and uh, all those, that kind of good stuff. Um, this little cutie is from a printable from Cat Collage Club, which is a subscription that I just launched uh, where you get uh, cat-themed journal printables every month. So she's really cute with her little bow there. And then these purple flowers just tying in with the washi tape. And here I created a little uh, belly band for this tag that I wrote on the back on. So again, just coming up with different ways of uh, turning something like a, a vintage book page into a journal page, which, you know, you just can't just write on it. So... Um, yeah, I really like how that turned out. And then here, uh, that day I just was feeling like doodling, so I took some of my Tomoe River paper and created this little house with some birds. <laughs> really, uh, I guess, wholesome in a way. Um, these embroidered date numbers are from Courtney Diaz, from her, um, from her Patreon. Then here we have some kitties that are peeking out at the edge of the page. Really cute. That again is from Cat Collage Club. And then here I had just a little scrap of a book um, page. And so I attached these journaling cards uh, to them to create this little journaling spot here. This is so cute. This is from a printable by Emily Bloom, which is called uh, California Dreaming. Love it. And then this um, sticker is from my Etsy shop, which is called Better Day Boutique. And then on the edge here, I attached this floral trim, which is so cute. Um, if the trim wasn't so expensive, I would attach that to pretty much every page because <laughs> I love it so much. It just adds a different texture and dimension to um, to any spread. So really cute. And then here I incorporated a photo that I printed out with my Canon, not the selfie, but the Ivy. Canon Ivy is what it's called, I think. And, you know, I love the convenience of having a photo printer like that. The colors aren't quite as accurate as I would like. But, you know, you get the convenience of being just able to print out the paper, uh, print out the photo and the paper is already sticky backed, so you can just stick it right on. But yeah, that day my orchids just looked so beautiful in like evening light. So I wanted to capture that and turn that into a flip. And then I have this little comic on the back, <laughs> which was posted in one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of so fun and then here love this spread love all the colors and the different elements um, so here this and this are printables by 
uh, Jen from Jenny May June. This is called Country Fair. And then this one, I don't remember the name, but it's a beautiful collection of uh, art. Um, and this girl is just so cute. Um, she kind of looks like me when I was <laughs> little. Um, so that's why I stuck her down. And then underneath here is some writing. So really cute. Here I finally used this, um, I think it's a vintage playing card. Yeah, but I backed it with some scrapbooking paper. I had this for, I think, almost a year now. And I finally used this beautiful owl. I love those colors together. They look so fall. Yeah, she's funky. Funky and cute. <laughs> and then here I created a tuck spot with a um, printable linen by Johanna Kloff. And then this is just, I think it's uh, just a little coloring card, I suppose. But I turned it into a journaling card and just journaled on the back. Again, just coming up with ways of being interactive and things to flip out and take out. I just had a lot of fun with that. And then that's the back, which also is a tuck spot for this. Um, yeah, this is a printable by Pocket Journal Pam, and so is this little cute little dude. And I had gotten some new washi tape from uh, Yuseka Stationery, and I love this washi. I'm totally obsessed with it. I love the color combination, and it kind of reminds me of um, Bauhaus, which my husband and I are uh, very much fans of the Bauhaus. So had to had to buy that. And then this uh, cute washi tape with the I don't know they're like watercolor dots I suppose is. Uh, from MT's kids line. I didn't even know that they had kids washi tape, but yeah, super fun. I, I noticed that the washi tape that I use the most is patterned washi tape and there's the siren. Okay, there was a fire truck with a loud siren. Uh, and then on this page, I just made a collage with scraps that I had laying around on my um, desk. This was a Tesprin from uh, Cat Collage Club and so I just stuck stuck that kitty down and just added some flowers. So that was really fun. This spread I actually did a journal with me video on so you can um, watch that. I'll have that linked at the top. And yeah, that was really fun. Uh, we have this funky dude or Dudette <laughs> from Pocket Journal Pam. And then I have this uh, photo here from Instagram from this artist who makes these wonderful felted animals. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, if my husband and I were dachshunds, that's what we would look like. <laughs> and so I had to stick that down in my journal. And then here we have a wonderful quote, which um, is actually missing a word now that I'm looking at it. Um, it says, what do we live for if it is not to make le life less difficult for each other? And I forgot the life. <laughs> this quote is lifeless. <laughs> so I have to change that. Um, yeah, here we have some, some journaling. And again, I was playing around with uh, doodling on Tomoe River paper with my watercolors, so that was really fun. Here I created a tuck spot out of this glittery kitty. Um, lots of fun. This is Mott Potch glitter. Uh, you can just add it to your printables and turn them glittery. Um, super fun. I got that tip from AJ's Inspired Life, uh, so check out her channel. She has a lot of Journal With Me videos, so super fun. And then I just created this journaling card out of this uh, paint 
a sample card that you can get in home improvement stores. Another tip in, pocket journal Pam, and then I just uh, added some tea tags that I was from tea that I was drinking while journaling. On the back, just some collaging with different elements. This is pocket journal Pam. This is a journaling card from Courtney Diaz. I love how all these elements just sort of look together. This day I wasn't feeling very inspired, but I had made this collage cluster um, weeks ago, I think. And so that's always good to have on hand if you're not feeling very inspired. You can just grab those and stick down. I think at this point I was realizing how I was missing just uh, normal paper, <laughs> regular paper that I could draw on or do ink washes on. And I was also starting to feel like because every page is different and even the sizes are different, that I was feeling like I was breaking up my thoughts, if that makes sense. So, for example, if you have a tag like this, okay, you can write up until here, but then the next point at which I can pick up my writing is here, so I always felt like, un I always felt under pressure to fit a thought on a specific element and then couldn't like fully continue, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, I was starting to kind of be like, okay, this is fun coming up with all these interactive elements and ways to use patterned paper, but, um, already sort of putting it into my head that I was gonna go for a more normal notebook <laughs> for my next journal. Yeah, so this is the first day of fall. This is again an element from the free printable that I'll leave down below. And fitting for the first day of fall, it was raining, so it was the first day this year that I was wearing my glittery, ra glittery rain boots, if you can tell on this photo. They always bring me joy. Yeah, this is also was also a pre-made cluster. And then finally was able to use some watercolor in the background, which um, yeah, I was miss missing doing because I do that a lot. And then I picked up some books from the library. Here's the other side of that book page and decided to use it with a tuck spot and then do the journaling on a tag and this is a quote from a book um, about journaling so I thought it was fitting to use this as the tuck spot. Uh, this is from Pocket Journal Pam. Oh yeah and then this is a post-it um, my hubby drew <laughs> so this is how hubby and I uh, communicate when one person is on the phone. We draw post-its for, post for each other. So this is him asking if we wanted to go out and get some carrot cake. <laughs> Little kitty journaling spot. More journaling, another glittery cat. And then this was a day before I launched Cat Collage Club and so I had done this um, Instagram story and thought it looked cute enough to be remembered. Also because it's a very special moment. And then here's a stick again, a sticker from Cat Collage Club. Uh, no, not Cat Collage Club, from Better Day Boutique. <laughs> this is Cat Collage Club. And that was the end of the journal. So yeah, I had a lot of fun, but again, I was ready to move into something um, less specific when it comes to the paper. So I'm now in a an A6 Midori notebook and um, went for the blank and I am loving it because it holds up to watercolor really well and yeah, it's just really good. Um, so you'll see more of this 
um, in upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration in this flip through. Let me know if you like to use patterned paper in your journals or if you prefer uh, more the grid or the lines. Let me know. I always love to chat about journaling. Okay, see you next time. Bye!